rather short version of Jacko Diamonds and if you want to hear the full performance which I recorded about 15 years ago I think open the video description there's a link to that performance but it's exactly the same as what I played here only there are many more verses sung behind the accompaniment <clears throat> and if you're interested in the tablature also see the video description for information it's part of my uh, slide pack. We're in open tuning, open D tuning. So tune down your sixth string to D. The fifth remains in A. The fourth remains in D. The third goes down to F sharp. The second goes to down to A. And the first one goes down to D. So we have three Ds. Two A's and an F sharp. And these are all, if you take a basic uh, D chord, you will notice that are the notes of that chord. And my version is a bit of a mix between uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, who recorded it in 1926. And by the way, it's his only slight piece. And of course, uh, later, Man's Lipscomb did a fine version. Okay, let's start with the introduction. So the first couple bars are played really um, very free. And you may notice that I'm, I uh, like clean slide playing, so my index finger is always resting on the strings lightly to avoid unnecessary slide sounds. Without it, it sounds like this. And then in the tablature you will see the number four. But I'm holding the slide in between uh, frets 3 and 4. So you get more something like that, a nut, which is slightly more, let's say, less bluesy. And if you listen to the slide guitar of uh, Blind Willie Johnson, 
while he was blind, he couldn't see whether he was on the third or the fourth fret. And you will notice, and all, by the way, all the slide pieces are in uh, open D tuning, that he slides just past the third fret to get that bluesy sound. All right. Notice the muting with the picking finger. That slide and then the rhythmic part starts. Heavy accenting very often on the fourth beat where I hit with the thumb down two strings, the fourth and the third. And that that slide piece is very short. By lifting the slide, but I, my finger remains on the string, so otherwise you get, if you lift the slide from the strings, you automatically get a pull off. And we don't want that. Takes a bit of practice. may accidentally hit the third string, it's not a big problem there. So let's play the introduction one more time. A part uh, where the singing starts. Jack Diamonds. And the slide follows the vocal part. And it, especially in this part, it's not really uh, <clears throat> metered. So Jack You can do that slow, jack of diamonds, or a bit faster. It depends on the vocals, of course, and the slide will follow there. Again, in between that third and fourth fret. Jack of diamonds. Whoa! Jack of diamonds. Follow the slide, follows the vocal. Jack Diamond, and then the rhythmic part starts again. Jack Diamond is a hard card to play. All right, one more time. Jack Diamond, whoa, Jack Diamond. There in uh, bar ten. Is a, is a, you can do a pull off or play the open uh, second string. And in bar eleven, card to play. You can play that when you sing play the open uh, D string picked with the index. Card to play. Or you can simply don't play the the D string card to play, and then play play is different in uh, in the vocals there. Card to play, card to play. And then we have the the B part where all the verses are uh, sung behind, and there again the slide follows the vocal line. Hammer on 
the second fret and slide to the third fret. And pull up. second string the D then it's important that the first string doesn't ring anymore and that's why I assign my middle finger for the first string and my index for the second string and that way I can mute that first string after I played it with my picking finger and especially in open D this is important because that tonic is on the second string. In open G you don't have that problem because there the tonic, your home bass, is on the first string. Without it would sound like this, without that muting of the first string. You slide up to that second string, even if you don't play it, but that first string will sound. The moment I hit that second string, my first finger rests and kills the sound of the first string. So, where were we? The bass solo is exactly what I played on the first two strings, but then we're gonna play it on the, the, the fourth and the fifth string, and the first, the sixth string also a bit. I'm almost playing all those notes with what I call a rest stroke. After you pick the string, the fifth string, your temp rests on the fourth string. If you play the, the fourth string, after picking, it rests on the third string. So, and I play the man, the fourth. I did a solo, I didn't tap it out because, well, it's not that difficult in the performance 15 years ago, and it goes a bit like this. Mm -hmm. 
So. So. Uh, open. Slide to the third fret. And pull off by simply removing the slide. And the, the bass is have the what you play in the fourth string is heavily accented. Same thing. And then we slide to the second string, twelfth fret. So then the first phrase again. And then slide to the 15th fret. Then stop the uh, alternating bass. Sorry. 12th fret, 2nd string. 1st string. 2nd string. 3rd string. I have the tendency of to wiggle the slide. Uh, gives you, well, more balance, more, uh, how should I say, more vibrato, but not, but not that. Something to explore. And then I go down and you can play whatever. Fourth string, fifth, third, fifth string, sixth string, um, and or you can resume play another bunch of uh, verses, of course. So that's it for uh, Jack Diamond's cool tune, and uh, not that hard to play, but you'll have to sing it. Okay. Have fun with it.